Welcome to this episode of A Real Change TV. Kurkowski and Happy New Year. I'm so glad to talk to you today and I've got a guest with me, John Hayes from Dallas, Texas. John and I actually met through a tweet, through a smartphone and I'm really excited to share with you not only some of the success that he's having but today's lesson, I want you to get your pen and paper out, is how one tweet could change not only your business but your entire life. Now John, where were you when that tweet went out, my SOS for help? Oh, I was having dinner with my cousin, Jimmy. Uh, it's a, you know, who would have thought to check a message? You're trying to be nice and have dinner, you know? Yeah. But I'm just so obsessed with all that kind of stuff, so I just had to look, and there it was. So there was a tweet, and you're like, okay. Yeah. Um, now, there's a, a note for you. Some of you wives, and I do the same thing, and you husbands... If you have somebody who has an online business, I do not recommend you go through dinner, you know, like this. <laughs> but periodically, if you're glancing down to something quickly, this not only changed his future and, and then our having a relationship through business, but also changed his career because of this one tweet. We had an event that was coming up in Dallas, Texas, and a mutual friend, Shalene Johnson, yeah. I had said to her, girl, I need a photographer because <laughs> the photographer wasn't going to work out. And she sent out an SOX text, type a tweet on Twitter, that Sandy needs a photographer. If you're in the Dallas area, tell her how you can serve her. Well, you not only responded to me, right. you responded like a real professional. I want him to share with you what he did. He sent an email after the tweet, yeah. because I had somebody sending some follow up information. And what did you say to me? Well, originally, you know, I got the, yeah, we'll, we'll, you'll, we'll get back in touch with you. We've got a bunch of people. And so then I looked into what you did, and I wanted to see your content. Note number one. Yeah. So if you're tweeting with someone, and I want you business owners to please pay attention to this, not only if you're a service provider, but if you're a corporate company, we're not, I don't like to refer to myself as a corporate company. We actually reach almost a million people now. We've got 22 staff. Big company, but very friendly, very open. But I'm paying attention to someone who wants to offer me their services, and my reputation is on the line. I'm taking a referral from someone, totally trust Shalene, but I've never met John. I've not met Jimmy Hayes Nelson either. This would grow into an even bigger relationship. Uh, Many of you have heard Jimmy's story. So you sent an email later that said what? Well, once I knew what you did, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to know your content. Like, mm -hmm. I may not be able to photograph the whole weekend, um, and I'll actually charge you less if I can get your content. Amazing. So number two, he not only wanted the bid, he wanted the job, but he wanted to benefit from the content. Now some of you as photographers might not understand that in this social media culture that was such a winning, winning thing to do. And for me as a business owner, that was it. I didn't even want to look at any other bids, I didn't want to hear from anybody else, seriously, that's what I had said. Because he was not only going to photograph my event, he was going to be engaged because he was going to be paying attention and he would get the whole feel of the room, which would then create a result that it was just phenomenal, the pictures that we had at that event. And then after that, it was so funny because I remember watching him photograph me. And mind you, again, he didn't know me. He brought Jimmy along as his assistant. You know, Jimmy had begged oh, yeah. him, what are you doing? He's like... What is this? I said, this lady is like teaching what we do, like how to build our business. He's like, as a joke, he's like, how cool would it be if I could be your assistant? And I said, okay. And I messaged him like, I need an assistant. Okay. Uh -huh. Something it happened. Cool. And I'm like, Jimmy, get your wife's camera. Come on. That's it. And they were amazing. <laughs> they served us. They were like flawless. Everything came out great. The funniest part for me was though many times when both John, you know, he'd be filming and all of a sudden I'd see him come across in the camera and he'd go, <laughs> yeah. You know, or Jimmy would be like going, writing notes. And he'd be writing <laughs> notes down, and then he'd remember, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be John's assistant. Yeah. And so the third thing is don't be afraid to have connection, to have relationship. This was one tweet we got to meet face to face where it was a mutual reference. We were doing an event. We got to get to know each other over the phone, you know, agreed upon terms and that. 
but it's now almost two years later. Two years, yeah. And now you're a Ruby client. Yeah. He's been in Who our inner thought. circle for a long time. He's now in our Ruby client. He is in a certified, a real change certified WordPress expert. This is the guy that I would recommend if you need any thesis updates, you need custom coding, graphics, anything like that. And he's not only able to do that exactly as we teach, but he's also done photography for us. So if you're yeah. looking for a photographer, you do fitness photography, mm -hmm. obviously. It, events. That wasn't fitness, but some no. people say photography me is like fitness, doing, a, <laughs> doing a runner or a racer. Well, especially I, over that time because you, your body changed so much. So every time I photography, yeah. I, do, I shoot you. It's like, it's like fitness. It, it is, <laughs> but as well, and I don't sit still for very long. So yeah. he, he can mm -hmm. handle it. Some photographers, it's like, you know, I've gotten a few photographers upset because they're like, I can't keep up with you. <laughs> But yeah, events, engagement shoot, shoots, mm -hmm. uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, you know, working with us, going through the inner circle, you've mm -hmm. seen everything from how to create your own memberships, how to create oh, yeah. continuity. You've got membership programs through Facebook. Mm -hmm. He's not only profiting from one business, not two, but three. Yeah. Not only doing photography, also doing his amazing direct sales business with Beachbody, which he recently, you just won a huge promotion. Yeah, I just got a $500 um, <laughs> transformation prize. So fun. For, and I, I'm not a Beachbody rep, but I think uh, I, I love helping any kind of person <laughs> in direct sales. And the cool thing is, is that you had um, even your WordPress business. Yeah. So you've got three different business models. I've got photographers who would say, well, hey, would that work for me? And I've got direct sales. Hey, will that work for me? And people who are service providers, hey, does that work for me? He's a great example. And it all works together. Yeah. Like I can have one business page on Facebook. I don't have to have three. Oh, he doesn't have three pages. No. Because do you see three heads? No. You see one handsome young man who happens to be single. All resumes need to go through me. But that was just a side note. But all on one page mm -hmm. so that you don't have to feel like, oh, my God, do I have my WordPress head on? Do I have my right. photographer's head on? What are we talking about? Yeah. And, yeah. and they all work together because, like you say, I can do fitness photography, which works with the fitness business. Mm -hmm. And I can do web pages for fitness people. Mm -hmm. So they all intermingle very well. So that, that helps having the one page because it's, it's, it can be the same clientele. Right. And you know? then when you do email and mm -hmm. you do Twitter yeah. and you do Facebook, mm -hmm. everything's synergistically working well. Mm -hmm. So you're not trying to figure out how do I change my message per audience. You're directing your audience like we teach in the circle of life. Here's John. Here's his message. He's got his blog up here. He's got Facebook, Twitter, and email circulating around him and his message. Yeah. People do business with you, not the products or even services that you exactly. have. And here we had, you know, growing multi-million dollar business. We've like quadrupled since then. Oh, yeah. And we met through a tweet. So never yeah. underestimate the power of a tweet, the power of relationship and the amazing social media mobile culture that we live in. Thanks, John, so much for yeah, being for here. Yeah, thanks for having me. And we're excited not only about this interview, but John's here for the weekend. Just on Good a blast. personal level, he hangs out with my kids. My husband and I love him. We're going to hang out and go have some dinner and work out too. So we'll see you next week. You guys have a great week and a happy new year. Bye-bye.